Hey guys, Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum, Liberty, Kentucky, fredmccoy.com. Sheila's behind the camera. Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. Once again, we're continuing on with these segments on questions that were asked on Google. Mm -hmm. And evidently a Hatfield, West Virginia Hatfield representative has been answering uh, these questions and they're answering them fictitiously or on, on, on true. And uh, this question here was, did Cap Hatfield really lose an eye? And this question said, Cap Hatfield either injured his eye due to a logging accident, a blasting cab, or eye injury happened during due to firearm exploding percussion, percussion. And that's true this part is true um yes cap hatfield did lose an eye or at least have eye damage mm -hmm. you know when cap was younger he was his father uh timber so they had blasting caps to blow stumps out of the ground with dynamite and either a, a blasting cap went off prematurely and injured his eye, or a percussion cap from one of the old uh, percussion rifles, the uh, powder, like powder rifles, and a percussion cap went off and messed his eye. Hmm. Now, uh, that's true, and you know, they say a picture's worth a thousand words. Okay. And if you'll look right here. Can you get it? Yeah. Okay. Here is, here's a picture of cap. Yeah. And then here's a close-up. Yep. And if you'll look, you'll see the white cap over his eye. Now that is how cap became known as cap. Okay. And you'll notice one eye is going to the right and the other eye is looking straight ahead. Right. Now, that reminds me, and I'll see if I can find it here real fast. I wasn't there. I never met Cap Hatfield. But somewhere in this description that T.C. Crawford gave of the interview when he Cap Hatfield is a bad young man without a single redeeming point. His right eye is watery blue. His other eye has been disfigured by explosion of a percussion cap, thus, aka cap. It gives him the appearance of being walled eyed. That's T.C. Crawford. T.C. Crawford met Cap Hatfield in person. He interviewed Cap Hatfield in person. So, to take away all these myths where you hear some people says, no, there was nothing wrong with Cap's eye. Cap was perfectly well. Cap was, per well, they're wrong. They're misleading you because there's an 1888 article where T.C. Crawford acknowledges his eye. They even acknowledge it, even if we say the miniseries is not correct, mm -hmm. the miniseries is correct on mm -hmm. Cap's eye being injured. Now, whether it was Jim Vance that nicknamed him, that sounds like some of the stories that we've talked to Jim Vance's great-great-grandchild, uh, great mm -hmm. great-grandson before. Mm -hmm. And he's told us some good stories oh, wow. yeah. about uh, Jim Vance, his great-grandfather. Mm -hmm. And um, supposedly Cap is, uh, Jim Vance is the one that gave Cap the nickname of Cap having the white over his eye. They said it used to be real bad. It covered his entire eye. And then it, uh, as he got older in life, whatever happened, it thinned out. Anyway, hmm. let me get you there, baby. Hi, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank you, guys.